stranger. She remembers nothing of our past together. Because it never happened. You know, no sands of time, no azar. You get the vizier, but you lose the girl. Catch up with her. Fair enough. Though I suspect you and I want very different things from the girl. still have feelings for her. Admit it. Farah and I went through so much together. Though she may not remember, I can never forget. Possess that. Here we go again. I took it from the vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me, and all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of, but I intend to find him and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman, the prince of Persia. 
And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. to work together. There is strength in numbers, after all. I'm glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now, let us find the Vizier. With the Dahaka defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. The pressure and desperation which once drove him were gone. Grim as things seemed, there was now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and to our tortured hero. But the vizier's army still hunted him. And they grew more determined by the other. the tale next time. What? What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks' journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return, this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet.
I'm not sure I like how this girl is always charging ahead. Fear not, she has already proved a valuable asset to us. You know, I've been thinking about what Farah said earlier. She's mortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough. Huh! <gasps> 
such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. Faster? You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's a figure of speech. There is something very odd about you. She has no idea. Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment. We did it. hurt inside. We should help them. Now is not the time, Prince. You can help all you want later. Go, Farah. Tend to the wounded. I will catch up with you once I've dealt with the Vizier. So the prince and Pharaoh separated. She sought to save lives, he to end them. 
for the prince intended to confront his enemy and perhaps utilize the powerful warriors who had holed up inside the temple. His mind churned with thoughts of glorious angels. But something new as well. Descending into the depths, his thoughts kept returning to Pharaoh. He wondered if she was thinking of him as well. city is one thing, but to do so with such violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer. line of defense, fallen. These men serve my family well. With their defeat, the city is fully in the hands of the vizier.
Every time I reach him, he slips away. Why will he not just stay and fight? It would make things so much simpler. It is not always about combat, Prince. Some battles are waged in other ways, on other terms. I fear we have underestimated our opponent. Let us not make the same mistake a second time. <gasps> Finally fallen, and none were left to come to the prince's aid. He was now the city's own king. If he failed, his entire world could be lost. Or the vizier was not content to simply be a king. No. He fancied himself a god. The question now was whether the prince realized the position he was in. And if he did, would he accept this responsibility? Would he become a hero? escaped. And you? What of the troops? Dead. All dead. But I saw the vizier. Or whatever it is he's become. He flew towards the palace. Then we know where to go. All right. But I seem to be, well, stuck. Could you find a way to open this door? I understand the principles of courtesy, but I think you take things a bit too far. Thank you. 
Of course. The problem is, now I am trapped. Just like a woman. Solving her problem creates a new one for you. Allow me to return the favor, then. You were saying. Go on, then. is all right. You are spending way too much time looking after the girl. You sound upset. Are you jealous? Just focus on getting to the palace. Keep your voice down. There are enemies below. Okay. But see if you can do something about these crates. I cannot get past them. Do you understand that? This is the sort of thing that slows us down.
See the palace from here. Make your way to me. returned. Did you hear that? If you know what is good for you, say no. Farah, we must press on. I'm sure she will be all right. Are you mad? She was begging for her life. She said there were others. No, we can afford no more delays. Good. Put her in her place. These are your people. You are their prince. And yet you would leave them to suffer? That man has taken everything from me. And now that I have the opportunity to punish him, you want to delay me? Have you forgotten what he did to you? But I... You are burdened by a guilty conscience, Farah. He made you watch as your people suffered, unable to aid them. You are not to blame. Do not let it cloud your judgment. It is not I who suffers from clouded judgment. You may choose not to help them, but you cannot stop me. I go to kill the vizier, to end this, while you run about applying bandages to axe wounds. Good riddance. You're nothing but a distraction. Always getting into trouble and slowing us down. Finally, we can... What? Something could happen to her. I cannot lose her again. No, no, no! Too close to the prince. He feared for her safety. Even if it was just one person, at least now he thought of someone other than himself. Skin, glowing eyes, melt a face. I'm sure it will be love at first sight. Oh, 
this time. Is this necessary? Yes. You're sure? Yes. Fine. Waste your valuable time rescuing the princess. I can only imagine what the Vizier is doing right now. Probably expanding his army, torturing innocent citizens, deciding what kingdom to conquer next. What he should be doing is dying. I have not forgotten my mission. Could have fooled me. Destruction is my doing. Traipsing through a brothel while your city falls apart. That's not what I call it, Owen. I am here for Pharaoh. The reasons for being here are hardly selfless. You do not know my motives, and you do not know me. I am you. And the sooner you realize it, the better. If you really do desire death, kindly wait your turn. I have killed most of the guards. It should be safe. Go and find the women. Free them. I will deal with her.
wonderful work. You return to save Farah, and then send her back into the thick of it while you run out. You know as well as I do that the brothel is no longer dangerous. But if I do not kill that sand monster, she will pose a threat to Farah. Go to her! Punish her!
if I had some sands for every time someone said that to me. Oh, I do. The women are free and headed to safety. It was right of you to return. Prince? You... You're one of them? No, Farah! This is not how it appears! You're a sand monster! You lied to me all this time! No! I have been tainted by the sands, this is true! But my mind and my heart are my own! Please believe me! You stay away from me! No, it's simply... Yes. But she would not understand. What was I thinking? Poor Prince. His secret had been revealed, and Farah quite disturbed by what she had seen. Perhaps he should have been honest from the beginning. Too late he realized his mistake and stayed silent.
Sarah, wait! cleansed himself in the waters of the fountain. Though returned to a normal body, the same could not be said for his mind. I believe you. Everything you have done contradicts this. I have seen the way you hunger for combat. You take pleasure in creating death. Your constant talk of bloody vengeance. Your cold disregard for your own people. You heard the women in the brothel as clearly as I did, yet you turned away. But I came back. I came back. For you. You are a prince in title only. Go and reclaim your throne. But know this, you do so alone. You certainly have a way with women. Those you don't get killed can't get far enough away from you. Oh, my God. 
In my youth, I would often lose myself in the back alleys of the upper city. I spent hours running and tumbling, imagining myself all manner of creatures. The rooftops and passageways were secret windows onto other worlds, but now everything has changed. The color bled away, and the sounds of life replaced by a heavy stillness. It has all gone dark and bitter. This is close. Let us at last be on our way. The prince was finally forced to accessible for this. Then, perhaps, things may have gone another way. But now, it was simply too late. In spite of this, or perhaps because of it, the prince found himself profoundly affected. Is this where I should never continue my story from here next to Pharaoh's earlier words?